Behind Grace is a great voice like a trumpet. Revelations is awesome. What is this with a great voice like a trumpet that was behind John, who was in the spirit on the Lord's day? What is this voice like a trumpet that John is speaking about in the book of Revelations? I'm going to speak about this in this video. But the first thing that you need to understand, otherwise this book will remain sealed to you. Do not understand the very first line of this book. So let's go there. Turn to Revelations beginning and read what is spoken across the book. What is this about? And you will find that it is the revelation of Jesus Christ. So what is it about? What is spoken over the whole of the book? That it reveals that God is salvation. Jesus. So what is given us here in verse 10? Remember the book of Revelation is what? It is the revealing of Jesus. It is the revealing of God's salvation. And you're going to hear that in verse 10. In verse 10 we find, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Who's this I? John. John means God's grace. God's grace. Where is God's grace? In the spirit. Spirit in Hebrew and also in Greek you find that tie ties with breath. God's grace is in the breath on the Lord's day. God's grace is in the breath of Jesus. Because he breathed out his breath, because he took the death verdict, because he died breathing out his final breath, what happened then? The darkness disappeared. Literally on the face of the earth there was shown darkness when Jesus was on the cross. Remember at the time of three he breathed out his breath. We read, when was the darkness? Between twelve and what again? Three. What happened to three? Breathe out his breath. So what turned the darkness? His breath. Who's the one that gave life by his breath? We read in Genesis 2. God. Who's the one that turned the darkness? We read in Genesis 1. God. The only begotten Son of God. In meaning of that in the Greek. He's the only begotten likeness of God. The only coming forth likeness of God. Because God turns the darkness. God gives life by his breath. He can take the death verdict in the stead of us and so turn it from us. The only generated likeness of God is God's salvation through the breath of Jesus. And thus God's grace is inside the breath on the day of the Lord. Explains John in the revelation of how God's salvation works. The revelation of Jesus. John says that he heard behind me, behind John, a great voice as a trumpet. John means God's grace. What is operating behind God's grace? What has God's grace heard, acknowledged, understood? What is God's grace taking note of? There is behind him operating something. A great Voice. Voice in Greek ties with disclosure. Like a trumpet. There is a great disclosure. Like a trumpet. What is a trumpet? Right? A trumpet makes its declaration through the means of breath blowing out. There's a majestic breath that operates and discloses and cries out behind grace. Trumpet in Greek has the tile with it's so huge it's so great it move, make, makes a shaking and a moving all right it shakes and moves and vibrates so behind god's grace is the great declaration of breath that shakes majestically shakes and moves things the breath of jesus it is finished shakes and moves the order of things we can move from the place of being doomed to the place of being saved because behind God's grace, the legitimacy of God's grace rests in what is behind him. It is the voice, it is the disclosure of the majestic breath that has shaken the world. It has given us salvation. God can give you and me God's grace. God can extend mercy to us. Imagine you standing before God's throne one day. You are guilty. But now the order is being shaken. He can give you grace. The impossible. How can he give you grace? Because you're guilty. You're supposed to be doomed. You can't be in heaven. We all. Nobody can. Because we are sinners. But the order is being shaken by the blast of breath that shakes. That operates and discloses and cries out behind grace. 
because Jesus died, grace can be extended. Because behind grace is the breath of Jesus. Because John says grace is in the prayer. Oh, the breath shook our judgment and has given us life. If you nullify that, if you void the abundance of God's grace, Jesus comes with a cloud, Jesus comes with a multitude, the, the abundance God's salvation comes with. If you don't want to know the abundance of God's salvation, in other words, you like somebody that stands before the throne of God, when he wants to give you grace, you say, no, thank you. You don't know what you're doing. You can't give yourself grace. Because that voice needs to be the breath of Jesus needs to be behind it. Grace operates inside the breath. If you avoid that, you will wail. Like that verse said, when salvation is extended to those next to you. And you are without it. Do not be in that place. God is opening His word. God is extending through grace, through John. God is sending you this message of Jesus, the revelation of Jesus, the opening up of how God's salvation works is given to you in God's grace. And if this touches you, and you are worried about your fellow men that also stand there next to you, help them so that they don't wail when Jesus comes. Pray for them. Minister to them. Now is the time because we're speeding towards the end and may Jesus come soon and God's salvation comes soon comes in the little the clouds bearing a testimony that will